torque element. What if I told you that the most futuristic Tesla design since the Cybertruck isn't the Roadster or the Semi, but a tiny, affordable car with doors that open like a supercar? Because on October 10th, for the first time ever, Tesla was caught testing something wild at the Fremont factory in California. A sleek silver prototype with strange, upward opening doors that nobody expected. The whisper started almost immediately. The Cybercap. Elon Musk's long-rumored robo-taxi. But what really caught people's attention wasn't the car's size or its sensors. It was those doors. Butterfly doors on what's supposed to be Tesla's cheapest vehicle? That doesn't add up. Unless, of course, something much bigger is going on behind the scenes. See, that test car might not just be a cybercab prototype. It could actually be the 2026 Tesla Model 2, the long-promised $25,000 EV, hiding in plain sight, wearing the same futuristic door system Musk has been teasing since last year. And once you dig into the leaked schematics, internal memos, and what we know about Tesla's new manufacturing goals, the pieces start to fit together like a puzzle. Because these butterfly doors? They're not about showing off. They might just be the smartest engineering decision Tesla has made in years. So, let's break down exactly how Tesla's butterfly doors work, why Musk would bring something so dramatic to a low-cost car, and how this one design change could actually make life easier, safer, and even more comfortable for millions of drivers, especially the ones who aren't in their 20s anymore. Let's start from what we saw in Fremont. Wide hinges, a steep upward arc, and a pivot that seemed to lift the entire panel diagonally. That alone tells us we're not looking at a normal gullwing or falcon door. Traditional side hinge doors open outwards about 45 to 55 degrees, needing over a meter of side clearance to open fully. In big cities like San Francisco or New York, that's a nightmare. But this Tesla prototype's door appeared to swing up and out at about 65 to 70 degrees, the sweet spot of what engineers call a dual-axis butterfly mechanism. Now, this isn't just a showpiece design stolen from McLaren or Ferrari. Tesla's engineering reports describe something far simpler. The hinge sits slightly off-center near the A-pillar, paired with an electric actuator and a small hydraulic piston. That means when the door opens, the upper hinge pushes upward while the lower hinge rotates out, lifting the entire panel vertically in a smooth arc. The result is beautiful, but it's also incredibly efficient. That geometry cuts the door's lateral footprint by nearly 30%. So in a cramped garage, you only need about 780 millimeters of space to open it fully, compared to over a meter on a normal sedan. Imagine parking downtown, surrounded by cars on both sides, and still being able to step out gracefully without bumping anyone's mirrors. That's the kind of thing Tesla obsessively designs around. Because Elon Musk has always said that real luxury isn't about price, it's about experience. And there's another detail, the materials. Traditional doors, like the ones on the Model 3 or Y, weigh 36 to 38 kilograms and rely on heavy steel frames. Tesla's new butterfly doors are built from 7075T6 aluminum, the same alloy used in aircraft wings. It's 40% lighter but just as strong, capable of handling over 500 megapascals of yield stress. By using aluminum not only in the hinge but the frame itself, Tesla managed to bring each door down to around 25 kilograms. That weight reduction might not sound huge, but across the car it saves almost 25 kilograms total. Enough to add 2 or 3 kilometers of range. Less mass means less power needed to move, and even a small change in drag coefficient, in this case about 0.005, can make a measurable difference in efficiency. Tesla's aerodynamic simulations show that butterfly doors actually help airflow detach more cleanly from the roofline when closed, slightly improving stability and extending range per charge. But here's where it gets wild. Those doors aren't just fancy hinges. They're smart. Each one uses a single electric actuator that can perform up to 18,000 open-close cycles. That's roughly 10 years of normal use, and a miniature hydraulic piston that gives it the signature smooth glide. The entire system uses less than 0.15 kilowatt hours per operation. That's equivalent to the energy used to drive about 120 meters. Across 10 years, the total energy cost of opening and closing your doors would equal less than 1% of your total battery output. It's practically nothing. Compare that to the Model X's Falcon Wing doors, an engineering marvel but also a maintenance headache. Each of those doors requires seven sensors, multiple load balancing motors, and costs nearly $5,000 per side to build and service. Tesla's butterfly design? Only about $1,200 per door. 70% cheaper, 60% fewer parts, and a far smaller chance of failure. Now, why is this important for a car like the Model 2 or Cybercab? 
because affordability doesn't just come from cheaper batteries or mass production. It comes from eliminating complexity wherever possible. Tesla learned that lesson the hard way with the Model X. Those Falcon doors were iconic, but they were slow, expensive, and occasionally unreliable. So this time, Musk is aiming for the same wow factor, but engineered with brutal simplicity. And yet, there's an even more human story behind this design choice. See, for millions of older drivers, and remember, nearly half of all Tesla owners are over 50, getting in and out of a car isn't easy. Lower back pain, knee stiffness, arthritis, these are real issues. The National Institute on Aging reported last year that nearly 47% of Americans over 60 have recurring lower back discomfort from everyday bending. Think about what that means for traditional sedans. Every time you get in you have to dip your torso forward 40 or 50 degrees, multiply the load on your spine by almost two times, and twist your knees sideways to clear the door frame. Tesla's butterfly door completely changes that. The upward motion means the opening extends nearly 1.6 meters high, letting you walk out without bending forward. You keep your spine almost straight, around 20 degrees of lean instead of 50. That cuts lumbar pressure by almost 40%. It turns an awkward motion into something natural, more like stepping out of an elevator than crawling out of a car. Biomechanics labs in Berlin tested similar prototypes with drivers aged 55 to 70. They found that people could enter and exit 30 to 40% faster with butterfly doors and had 18% more range of motion. That's not just comfort, that's confidence. For seniors or anyone with reduced mobility, that's the difference between driving daily and leaving the car parked. And Tesla didn't stop there. They raised the seat height from 460 to about 490 millimeters, almost the same as a compact crossover. That small change gives you a perfect 100 to 105 degree hip to torso angle, the sweet spot recommended by the American Society of Biomechanics for minimizing lower back tension. It means you're not falling into a low seat or struggling to climb out. You're just sitting down, comfortably, naturally. All these little details, the vertical motion, the lighter door, the higher seat, might sound minor on their own. But together, they redefine what affordable Tesla really means. Not just a cheaper EV, but one built around accessibility, dignity, and ease of use. Now, let's talk about the manufacturing side, because this is where Elon's genius really shows. Most car companies would never dare to mass-produce a butterfly door. The complexity alone would terrify accountants. But Tesla is different. According to internal schedules from Giga Berlin, the first fully functional Model 2 prototype with butterfly doors is planned for Q2 2026. After that, homologation testing, basically crash safety and regulatory checks, will follow under the European New Car Assessment Program. If everything stays on track, production could start in Q4 2026, with deliveries in early 2027. And here's the jaw-dropper. The butterfly doors are only expected to add about $1,200 to the car's total cost. For perspective, that's less than 5% of the Model 2's rumored $25,000 price tag. Compare that to the Falcon Wing's $5,000 per side, or supercars like McLaren and Ferrari that spend $10,000 to $12,000 per door. Musk's goal? Premium feel at low cost. A 10 to 15% jump in perceived quality for only 3 to 4% more in production expense. Tesla plans to hit over 1.2 million Model 2 units per year once the line ramps up. That means over a quarter million hinge and actuator sets will need to be built annually. Instead of outsourcing to expensive European suppliers, Tesla's preparing a specialized actuator and hinge production line at Giga Shanghai that will cut logistics costs by over 20% and reduce lead time from 18 weeks to 6. Now yes, there will be challenges. Tesla's internal forecasts admit that the butterfly hinge will need recalibration roughly every 80,000 kilometers, a bit more frequent than standard doors. And in very cold climates like Canada or Northern Europe, the rubber seals have to be made of a special EPDM compound to keep their flexibility below minus 10 degrees Celsius. That adds maybe $25 to production cost, but extends lifespan by nearly 20%. And yet, even with these trade-offs, the math still works. Because what Tesla is selling isn't just transportation, it's emotion. Look back at the Model X. The Falcon doors made it an instant icon. The Cybertruck's steel body turned it into a cultural statement. Now, the butterfly door is how the Model 2, the people's Tesla, will carve its identity. When you see one of these open next to a BYD Dolphin or VW ID.2, you'll understand immediately. The door lifts, light spills in, and you realize this isn't a cheap EV. It's a Tesla. A car that feels alive when it moves. A car that makes you feel special without having to spend $80,000. That's what Elon means when he says design should touch the heart before it reaches the brain. He knows that emotion sells, even at the entry level. And that's why this door exists. It's not just a mechanical choice. 
It's a marketing weapon, a psychological lever, and a design statement all in one. But there's also a future-proofing angle here. Musk has hinted that the cyber cab, Tesla's fully autonomous robotaxi, will share the same compact platform as the Model 2. That means parts, door systems, and even structural elements will overlap. The butterfly doors with their upward clearance and compact motion are perfect for a robotaxi that has to drop passengers in tight spaces like city curbs, parking garages, or airport lanes. They don't swing out into traffic, they don't block neighboring vehicles, and they make loading and unloading effortless. In fact, if you think about it, this could be Tesla's long game. A unified compact platform with shared doors, drive units, and battery architecture, cutting cost per vehicle across millions of units. Every cyber cab sold or deployed helps make the Model 2 cheaper. Every Model 2 built helps perfect the cyber cab's manufacturing. It's circular economics, Tesla style. And while many automakers still talk about reducing costs or chasing subsidies, Musk is betting that innovation itself can be affordable. Because what makes the butterfly door magical isn't the shape, it's the logic. It's a supercar mechanism stripped down, simplified, reimagined for the masses. It's engineering beauty turned practical. Think about it. We started this decade with cars trying to look futuristic. Sharp lines, glowing logos, massive screens. But what Tesla is doing now feels different. It's futuristic function. Doors that move like wings not for style but because they make life easier. Comfort that feels luxurious not because it's leather, but because it's thoughtful. And that's the ultimate trick. Musk isn't selling you a cheap EV. He's selling you the future of design democratized, one butterfly door at a time. So now I'll ask you, when the Model 2 finally rolls into showrooms with its graceful upward doors, would you buy it for the look, for the comfort, or not at all? Because whether you love it or not, this car is going to change the way people think about what affordable means. The supercar silhouette? Now within reach. The engineering magic? Scaled for everyone. The everyday act of getting in your car? Easier, safer, even a little cinematic. That's Tesla's genius. That's Elon's gamble. And that's why the butterfly doors might just open up more than a car, they might open up the next era of mobility itself. Thanks for watching this is Torque Element, where we decode the future of Tesla one breakthrough at a time. Hit that subscribe button, drop a comment with your thoughts on the butterfly door design and stay tuned, because what's coming next might just make even this look ordinary.